Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the grab mechanic from the boss AI toolkit. So we have Rampage boss right here and by default he has an ability uh, that can grab the player. It's index in an index six. So if I go to the boss behavior and change the ability debug ability index to six. He should use the grab by default. As you can see, we've been grabbed by the boss. Like so. So I'm going to show you how to create an ability for one of the other bosses. Um, we're going to use Severog right here. I already made an animation. It's just a simple a mashup of three swing animations. So we're going to use this. So first off, I go to Necro because that is the phase for Severog. Add an ability. Let's call this Grab. The ability class is also Grab. And for the component tags, we need two, uh, two tags here. One is the hitbox for which um, the trace happens. And the other one is the grab point. So where the player is attached to once grabbed. And we're going to use this one as the hitbox. So it's already tagged as hammer. So let's use that. And then you're going to add another component. Set a sphere collision. I don't want, I'm just going to attach it here. And just change the position. Let's say it's here. Now I'm going to tag it as grab. Yeah. And then put grab here. So the component tag is hammer, comma, grab. So hammer is this one, the square, or, you know, and then this sphere is the grab. So now next is we use the animation. So under visuals, we use the grab from Severog, this one. Open that up. What we need here is we need to add the notify, notify execute. So this is where the, the, the grab happens. So let's say that he starts grabbing over here up until this point right here. Okay. And then we also need to add some damage. So I'm going to add notify damage right here. And then maybe right here. And then final one right here as you get slammed into that and well the animation is 3.4 seconds long so let's set the duration to 3.5 and the cooldown to say five seconds now in the damage we need to set damage type to default and then the Crowd control is what happens to the player once um, he is released from the grab. So let's just set this to knockdown. That seems appropriate, right? When he gets slammed, he's knocked down. So yeah. So this ability is index 5. Let's set the debug index to 5. And so when we play, and yeah, we're being grabbed. As you can see, we've been damaged as well. And that. And if I dodge, if I manage to dodge this, you can see that the ability will cancel actually. We didn't use it. I didn't manage to dodge that. But yeah, if you dodge the ability, it just cancels. Right there. 
And this attachment point, you can actually rotate this so you can change the orientation and all the other stuff from how you want the player to be attached. So there's that. And yeah, that's about it for the grab, the grab ability. You can change all of these settings. You can also add more, you can add more component tags here. But remember that the last, the last um, tag is what the attachment point is going to be. Now making the grab work for your own custom player is fairly easy, very straightforward. Um, you just need to implement these events right here. This is from the um, BI crowd control interface. So if you manage to get the crowd control um, stuff working for your player, then you should be able to make this work as well. So what we're, what's happening here is when the grab begins, um, we apply the grab state in the status effects. Same thing when the grab ends. And in the change states, we just, you know, it just stuns the player. It stops any input from the player. Uh, it stops movement, etc. Stops the attack as well. So yeah, you if you have if you're using um, other systems such as um, dynamic combat system and or flexible combat system, all you have to do is when you're grabbed, you just need to stun the player and stop any um, input if that's uh, part of your gameplay. Stop any movement, and yeah, just have these two events. And obviously you have the crowd control if you want to apply that, um, you know, knockdown or knockback when the grab ends. I hope this video is helpful. Um, cheers.